Okay, I've got a, another tool. <laughs> and it's uh, raining outside. Nice and wet. So what we've got is a lawnmower. I know she's not the best, but that's about all I can afford. And here it is, Lichter. The Lichter Vantage. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, as you can see, if we have a look at the specs here, uh, it's a four stroke. 450 Briggs Stratton, which is a 250, uh, 125, easy pull start, 16 inch, all that sort of jazz. So she ain't the best, but we're, we're gonna try and uh, start her up before we get it together. Uh, I just gotta get you guys in a good position here. bloody things. Ah, uh, she's a bit crooked, but she'll do, I think. We'll try that. Uh, as you can see, we've got the Let's Get Started kit. So, yeah. As it says on the box, warranty certified oil. Available in Briggs Stratton Let's Get Started Kit or Engine Service Kit sold separately. And if we have a look here, we've got a copyright copyright 2013. So yeah, it probably is that old. But we got the oil. Heavy duty four stroke. All that jazz. We got ear protection. We got a wipe. And we got fuel additive crap here. All gasoline protects against ethanol problems. Right. Read entire label carefully before using this product. If poisoning occurs, call a doctor. Uh, all I can say is if you're drinking, or, yeah, consuming this, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, pour a measured amount into fuel, run an engine for several minutes to achieve complete system protection, treat fuel when purchased for best results. Uh, must not contain more than 10% ethanol. Well, we've got 0% ethanol. We've got regular unleaded. Yeah, it doesn't say whether. Uh, hang on, here's. Uh, 2.4. Uh, use half ounce per 2.4 gallons and 9 litres of gasoline for up to 24 months. Okay. So if we put this into the fuel canister we can get protection for up to 36 months bullshit anyway I'll do it and we've got safety goggles get that out of the way bring all this over here well, I probably should do this This is four and a half liters. What a gallons crap. And of course they don't make the tear off at the right spot. Body typical. And 
this is all on video, so if they say I didn't do something, well, let's prove them wrong with the actual video, eh? Because as you can see, I've got red stuff there, and it's actually empty. Put that over there, and let's open this chat box. A lot of people have problems with this mower, particularly the drive shaft. But it's also got a five year warranty, this particular model. And I wasn't the first one to purchase one today, so. Yeah. To be honest, all hard mowers tend to have problems. Because you get bad batches and, and stuff like that. Oh, really? <sighs> but Victor's uh, Bunnings, which is our home decal here, is pretty good for warranties and returns and stuff like that. So, should anything occur, and we've got. Uh, yeah, apparently we've got a uh, cut off. Ran out of memory, apparently. Oh well, say so lovely. Uh, yeah, wonky doodle there. Oh, everything's moved on me. Okay, like I was saying, uh, Fly the grass catcher. That's for me. Got all of this stuff, which we'll do after we run it in. All that crap. Okay, lift with your back, not your legs. I lie. Basically what we're going to do is put oil in it, put fuel in it, let it run for 15 minutes and then shut it off. And then I'll put it together, and probably in another video, and cut some grass when it's nice and dry. Uh, anything should I know? Oil recommendations. Uh, Celsius. So it could do with E based oil, which is Vanguard Synthetic 15W50. Right. Just because it does get that hot. Um, e pretty much does from negative 7 to over 45, uh, 49 degrees Celsius, which is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So, there's others, but I won't go into that too as well. We're in Australia, and it doesn't get that cold, nor does it stay within a set temperature range. I think um, the last heat wave we had, uh, Move the dipstick. Last heat wave we, wave we had it reached 45, I believe. And wipe with a clean cloth. Well, that's why we got the cloth with the kit. Uh, okay. So, where's the oil going to? And it goes into troubleshooting. 
a Bridgerton Stratton engine warranty. Now what does this say? Uh, that's fuel. Ah, oh, this is oil I <coughs> No, I don't have the coronavirus. I smoke too much. <laughs> And four of those potheads out there. Unfortunately, it's not weird. Get that on, Jim, and get it out of the road. Take that cap off. That's handy, eh? Oh, there's a the dipstick, eh? Oh, it's got some oil in it. I want to say it's very much like. <coughs> this is probably the oil I'm supposed to remove before it starts me. Yeah. Not really. Okay, we put this stuff in it. Briggs Tratton SA30 engine oil. Ooh. And it doesn't tell you what particular oil it is, uh, apart from SA30. Uh, every 50 hours of operation is how often you've got to change it, apparently. And blah, 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 blah. Or every 25 hours under harsh conditions. New engines, chains, oil, after the first five hours. <laughs> right. And blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. Okay, apparently it's got, it's a detergent. Oil classified for service, SG slash CF by the API. Right. I won't go into the whole spiel, but apparently it's suitable for Australian conditions. <coughs> it's because I'm bending over a lot. Uh, oh, look at that, it's practically open. Okay, and you pour all over the engine. Do not overfill. So what do we do? Give it all over the dipstick so we can't tell. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, all I can tell you is it's got oil in there. <laughs> This is 600 mil, so all this probably can go in. Oh, yeah. If I'm in your eye, sorry. But suck it up, butt. If you can see my butt crack, good for you. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry to tell you. Oh, I think that's just done. <laughs> yeah, 
too much to be honest. But you know if it catches fire it kind of you know voids the warranty. Okay. Let's see how easy it is to start. yet again and um, yeah as you can see I'll, um, what happened after the video cut out I kept trying and trying and trying and trying and it wouldn't start so I quickly went over a few things try to pull some of the oil out got nothing out um, sorry about my tooth and I look like a hillbilly hick don't I um, Anyway, um, but I, I tried a few things basically. I just checked it over, wanted to make sure. And then I, I had this idea it's a carbureted engine. So, what do you do with a carbureted engine? You press on the accelerator. So, basically, this is what I did. Just give me a moment. Um, basically, I knocked that over, but yeah. As you can see, yeah, you get a better view like that. Um, but I think it's topped up just right. So this is the throttle cable. And what I did to get it started up, it was down like that and wasn't, and wasn't starting. So I went full, well, as full open as I can get with that zip tie in the road. But, yeah. Man! Watch what happens.
of a mess on I, but she runs. Now, she's not at perfect idle, but we'll let that run for like uh, 15 minutes. And I'll come back to you when the time's really right. Apparently that's all that was required, just picking it up. <laughs> anyway, she started sounding better after a while, but as you can see, it spit some oil up all over the bloody place, so I'd best be checking the oil before I do anything more. Now, the stip I forgot to put the dipstick in, so it was sitting right about there, so I cleaned it up. So you can't tell there was oil all over the place except on the floor and wall. So I better get me a cloth. And just check her. Yeah. That's dry now. Just sit in there a bit. All around. Yeah, I better put the rest of that bottle in. <laughs> Fun times, eh? I'll have to get more wheeling fluid and just wipe the cap off a bit because <laughs> still crap on it. She goes. Well, that's empty now, more or less. No point straining the rest of it out. But I think I dropped the drip a little bit. Mm, yeah. Okay, uh, let me just turn on an extra light here. Uh, there we go. Uh, we got back and we got some more of this stuff. Briggs and Stratton 4-stroke engine oil SA30. So that, that's 440mm. 
put in almost a, a, a mil, uh, 100 mil here. I'm not sure how much exactly, so we'll just top it up. Hmm. Just a bit under the, the um, low mark. And a bit of oil is still sitting around. So let's just. Oh, great. It's got one of these foil pieces of crap in it. Right. And we basically just pour all of this in. Right. That's what I get for being fancy, isn't it? Great. <laughs> I'll reach the recording limit again for some stupid reason. Definitely I'm gonna have to do some degreasing I think. Just a light touch. There's nothing in that. That should have been thrown out. Alright, oh, we'll just have to get some more. But anyway, let's give it a, a bit of a pull. Also got another tool. <laughs> May not be the best tool either. It was cheap, and it's light duty, which is enough for our new yard. Oh, that's my bizzle. <sighs> and this is the yard. I've already shown you guys the front of it, but yeah. basically we just moved in, so. I've got an electric line from it around here somewhere. Oh, it's in the shed. But yeah, that's my bissel for cleaning cars, basically, inside of cars. And I've got a whole heap of other. So yeah, that will do it. These are remnants of my welding videos. Well, my welding video. I was just trying to find the cap and put that on and. We shall catch you guys later. Alright, let's get this one more back. Oh, not back together, together for the first time. Huh?
<laughs> okay. Stand when operating the wire, stand fifteen meters away from someone. Blah blah blah. Wear boots, yada yada yada. Loot lower handle. Yeah, well that's what we put on. Um, touching the lower handle, that washer, spring washer, disconnect spark plug lead first. Meh. I think that's for the spark plug. That should be for the upper handle. These should be for the lower ones. Right, I don't think these instructions really help that much. So it says you need a, a spring washer, a flat washer, a spring washer, and a handle fixing bolt. steel models. Okay. That looks better. Oh, okay. Still missing a wash up. I think that's for the throttle control, and it's supposed to have two washers in there. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should be easy enough. It is a bit weird. Because, again, not much matches the pictures.
instructions I was reading was the uh, 16 inch Muller instructions which is the ultra light aluminium ones I can really tell you which way around the car should go yeah, probably can go around either which way Now basically, this has a square end underneath the cap there, and it goes in the square hole. the opposite way around to my intention. Oh, quick fix. Goes upwards. 
That's what I mean by having this part pointing upwards, something I can grab here or here. If I, I had it installed the other way around, which would work for the even shorter people, like four foot people or whatever. I'm not sure what this, oh, that bar is for to go with this. Alright. I might even just weld that together. <laughs> Couple of tech welds, no worries. Doesn't even explain what this is for. It looks like a cable tie. But... Yeah, probably is. Oh, oh yeah. Another handle. And it says it's a cable tie here. Oh, and the two washers go on one side anyway. Hmm. Oh, I like it. I like it really matters, to be honest. says take this bolt and I can't really do it the other way I oh, probably could but looks like um, there's some bitters in it.
side from. Back in the old days, where this whole section here went straight into the blades. <laughs> Funny and I wasn't. <laughs> mm. That's a quite steep a height. Well, that's a good quick build, I suppose. Just want to give it a quick build because the um, the cable length here is a bit taut, so it might affect how the machine shuts down and starts up. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I think that's a, a priming function in there, but that's, that was wheezing. <laughs> I was making made this high pitch of the noise. I'm like, wee! <laughs> and we got some fake mags. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll put this aside for now and whip out the other one. How do you have something else?